Okay, so the question is, uh, what's the vapor density? Of octane. All right, so that is C8 for oct. How many hydrogens do you have? Go back to organic. Yeah, there you go. It's fully saturated. Um, so it's two times that plus two. So 16 plus two is 18. Excellent. So someone, while we're, while we're talking, calculate the molar mass of that. So. So 8, yeah, times 12 plus 18. So what do we have? Did, how much did you calculate? 114. 114. Okay. Can I get confirmation on that? Yeah. Okay, excellent. So that's, um, did it give a temperature? It said STP, right? Did it say yeah. STP? Okay, STP. So we need to know the molar mass. I mean, I guess we do, right? We'll see how that figures in. Um, STP is what? One atmosphere. Yeah, one atmosphere. And the temperature is the really key piece here. It's the, it's, since it's the, it was the first standard. And so it's really ancient. So if you can think of, you know, the ancient, like Charles Law, Boyle's Law, all of these old gas laws were really old. What did they have access to, to control temperature? They didn't have, air conditioning or anything like that. The only thing they had access to to control temperature was ice water. And so the standard temperature and pressure is zero C. Yeah, yeah, because they had ice water. So they could put their gases in ice water and get the standard pressure or the standard you know, volume or whatever they were measuring. So they, they fixed the temperature and they fixed the pressure and they get a particular volume. So they would, they would have um, some way of measuring the volumes of these reactants and products and that's how Avogadro's law came about. That if the if the same if a substance has the same volume at STP, it has the same number of particles. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so that would be SATP, so standard ambient temperature and pressure. So that's where uh, let me go ahead and write in here two seventy three Kelvin, which is zero um, degrees Celsius, and then SATP. Just so you know it is, and this really ticks me off, okay. It's not one atmosphere, it's one bar. And uh, 20 degrees C, which is 298 Kelvin. Okay. And I, I, I ranted about that in the, in, the, in the thermo lecture about, you know, it, one bar is 100,000 Pascals and one atmosphere is 101,325 Pascals. So. They're only different by 1%. So why does bar even exist? I don't know. It's just, there's no more SA, it's no more IUPAC or, or, or SI than atmospheres in my opinion. Okay, so we have all of this information. What are we missing? We, we need density. So density is equal to what? Mm -hmm. Mass over volume. And, and so how would we get that? Well, we might have like a um, mass per mole divided by a volume per mole. And so then the per moles cancel and we can get density. So we need the molecular weight on top. And the molar volume on bottom. And so you can calculate the vapor density for, for any gaseous substance. If you know the molar mass and you know how much, uh, how many liters of that uh, gas is at STP, then you just divide the molar mass by the, the volume of one mole um, and you've got the, and you've got the uh, density, the vapor density. So uh, yeah, 22.4. Yeah, so, so volume is equal to NRT over P, which is one mole. Well, actually, we can we can bring that in over here and the molar volume. So that would be liters per mole is equal to RT over P. And so that's, you know, standard temperature and pressure. You have everything you want right there. So 
0 0.08206 liters atmospheres per mole Kelvin times 273 Kelvin. I'm just showing you this in case you don't remember the 22.4. This is how you get it. So always follow the units. Atmospheres cancels. Uh, Kelvin cancels. We're left with liters per mole. That's what we want. So that's 22.4 liters per mole. So the density is equal to 114 grams per mole over 22.4 liters per mole. So all you got to do is find the molar mass, divide by 22.4, and that's the vapor density. So what does that tell you? That means if you have a heavier gas, it's more dense. If you have a lighter gas, it's less dense. Because in one standard liter, the mass is the density. The mass in that liter is, is the density. So if you have a heavier gas like argon, that's more dense than neon. Oxygen is more dense than nitrogen. So they're going to, like oxygen's going to sink to the bottom. Um, uh, in fact, in our atmosphere, you know, nitrogen and oxygen on average are, are you know, 80, 20, but oxygen's a little more concentrated down here at the surface than, than, than it is up in the upper, you know, um, altitudes. So you, you need that, you need supplemental oxygen if you're going to be climbing Mount Everest because there's less oxygen up there. Um, there's still quite a bit of nitrogen. Um, at the very upper part of the atmosphere, it's almost all nitrogen. So nitrogen has a green emission line. So if you ionize nitrogen and then it gains some more electrons and that those electrons fall back down into the atomic orbitals on nitrogen, it emits green light in the visible region. And what color is the aurora borealis? It's green. That's, ionized, that's the ionized signal of, of nitrogen as the solar winds are being directed by the Earth's magnetic poles to to the, the poles, I mean, by the magnetic field to the poles, it comes into the nitrogen-rich upper atmosphere and, and ionizes it. And then when it grabs those electrons back from its nearest neighbors, then you see a green light. So that's kind of cool. So nitrogen goes higher than, than oxygen because of the density. Okay. So that, that's, that's those two. Do you want to like show if you just know it, you know it. Yeah. Yeah. Like if you, if I were doing a written problem, I would just, you know, you might say at 273 in one atmosphere, this is what you have for the, for the moles. Um, the trick is when you memorize a number like that, it, that's not the same number of liters per mole at SATP. You know, if you raise the temperature 20 degrees, it's like 24 point something. And so you get another couple of liters out of it. It takes two, you know, two more liters of volume because you're at a higher temperature. Yeah. Okay, I'll stop the video on that unless there are other homework questions. No, not yet. Okay.